It's time. It's time. It's time. For what? For the curious giraffe show. Sit back and relax, so we'll sing, chat, and laugh all on the curious giraffe show. Welcome back, my curious crew. And today, Lauren is going to use Jeanette, the curious giraffe, to find out who's who on the curious crew. Go ahead. What's your name? Donae. Hi, Hi Donae. Donae. What's your name? Megan. Hi, Hi Megan. Megan. What's your name? Emily. Hi, Hi Emily. Emily. What's your name? Lauren. Hi, Hi Lauren. Lauren. What's your name? Aurora. Hi, Hi Aurora. Aurora. What's your name? Milo. Hi, Hi Milo. Milo. What's your name? Dorothy. Hi, Dorothy. Hi. It always helps me to know everybody's name. Thank you very much. So as you know, my giraffes, George the Curious Giraffe and Jeanette the Curious Giraffe, they always whisper questions about things they want to learn about. And our first show was about awesome animals, AA. Our next show was about being brave, B, B. Today's show is about courageous children. C, C. So we're going to sing about it in our song and learn more about it. Did you want to say a, yeah. something, Donay? About the G show. Gigi. Um, what about if the GG show was about giraffes? I love that idea. I haven't gotten to plan that one quite yet, but it's something with giraffe because giraffe starts with G. Great idea, Donay. So. Giraffe looked over at eagle and said, Why was I born to walk? Why were you born to fly? Eagle just shrugged and gave a high five. Hey, we all share one big sky. Oh, yeah. Share one big sky. Share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different than we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share, and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. Giraffe looked over at the children and said, I see you've spoken up and made a difference in the world. How did you get to be such courageous boys and girls underneath this one big sky? Oh yeah, share one big sky. Share one big sky, give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. So what is today's question about? Courageous children. Courageous children. That's right. I noticed one day how many times either in the newspaper or on the news or on the radio I heard about children who had changed something in the world for better and I thought wow and so I wrote a song about that you wrote a song? I wrote this song yes I wrote the first song too the one about the curious giraffes so so it's called They've Done It Again. So let's do the chorus and then we'll sing some stories about what they've done and I'll pass out. I only have three. Let's see, Lauren already got to do the puppet. Who likes to read? Okay, those three this time? Okay, this time these three, but you'll get another. We'll think of something special for each of you. Okay. Now, I'm going to give, I don't know, we'll try this, and if, if anybody needs help, we'll have maybe Aurora or Milo can help, okay? That, but we'll try it. Here we go. They've done it again, they've done it again, the children have done it again. What now? Stirred up with emotion, they worked with devotion, and changed how the outcome would end again. They changed how the outcome would end. 
When they heard the news, it gave them the blues. Now, how about, Megan, will you read yours? The first line, the top line. The manatees? The manatees might go extinct. Yes, the manatees might go extinct. Oh no, at first they were sad, and then they were mad. Then they spoke up and got them, oh, I'm sorry, then they spoke up and read the bottom line. Got them protected. Got them protected, you know. They got them protected, you know. They've done it again, they've done it again. The children have done it again. What now? Worked up with emotion, they worked with devotion and changed how the outcome would end again. They changed how the outcome would end. They've done it again, they've done it again. The children open it again, whoops, and then when they heard the news, it gave them the blues. What does yours say? Um, they grandmother. Their grandmother? Their grandmother tree had to go. Their grandmother tree had to go. Oh no! At first they were sad, and then they were mad. Then, what does it say on the bottom, Donate? Kept that tree standing. They kept that, that tree standing, uh, you know, you know. They kept that tree standing, you know. Here we go. They've done it again, they've done it again. The children have done it again. What now? Stirred up with emotion, they worked with devotion and changed how the outcome would end again. They changed how the outcome would end. When they heard the news, it gave them the blues. Their very last bookstore might close. Their very last bookstore might close. Oh no! At first they were sad, and then they were mad. Then... Kept that store open. They kept that store open, you know, you know. They kept that store open, you know. So when you are sad or when you are mad, speak up, gather, help, follow through. Whatever your age is, when something outrages, who knows it could change thanks to you, to you. The outcome could change thanks to you. Okay, now, Megan, did you want to say something about some of those? Um, you wrote a song about Mary the Manatee and, the, and they also turned it into a video and you helped protect them also. <laughs> we all, I added on, but guess who started it? The kids. The school children, when they were learning about endangered animals in Florida, they learned about their beautiful gentle manatees that, that were very much endangered and they wrote letters, so many school children wrote letters that the grown-ups who make the laws made a law to protect the manatees. So now it's law to slow down when you're driving a motorboat so that you don't <coughs> bump into them and hurt them. Very powerful. Now, what's important in that story is that if one child had written a letter, you think it would have changed things? No. Not as much. But one child told another child who told another child who told another child who told another. And together, that's the part about gather help. Together, lots and lots and lots of letters. Those grown-ups had to pay attention, right? So give yourselves a pat on the back. Say, kids are great. Kids are great. great. We have voices. We, have we voices. know what's good. We know what's good. We can help. We can help. Yes, okay. So, um, that's, I have a song here about the grandmother tree story. And this one, um, Megan? I know this song. 
you know this one well. Those of you who have heard my CD know it really well. If it's new to you, just you can enjoy the story, okay? Sing along if you know it, okay? On our school playground, on one side you'll see our very own guardian, Grandmother Tree. She stood long before the old black top was paved. And here's the true story of how she was saved. Grandmother was just like all pines in this place. Except that on one side she has a kind face And down near the ground there's a great resting place A stone is ingrown in her trunk near the base On hot sunny days children played in her shade Around her wide trunk fairy houses were made While she watches over the new trail beyond right next to the wetland and small tadpole pond. And so set the scene where we played every day. It's how we expected it always to stay. Till one clear blue morning, we all were dismayed. <gasps> On grandmother's back, a red X had been sprayed. Now, what did this mean? Tell us, what could this be? Why have they painted our grandmother tree? We trembled and cried, and our hearts filled with dread. Why was she crossed out? Would our friends soon be dead? The kids started screaming. We made a big scene. How could the grown-ups do something so mean? Their teacher agreed they could take time to write letters to save her, speak up for her rights. They met with the principal, found out the facts, why Grandmother Tree had been marked for the ax. He said that her branches had grown much too tall. If the wind got too strong, they could fall on us all. So the children fought, and they were very respectful. They listened, but they said, well, couldn't you just trim the top part? So they said, could they trim the top part and leave all the rest? Could they slow down and think before taking the best? He said he acknowledged their show of concern, but they should just go now that they'd had our turn. So with cards and with songs and with trembling fears, they offered our grandmother tree our sad tears. We offered her water, we offered her hugs, we kissed her rough bark, bid farewell to her bugs. Well, they held off the cutting until school was out. When she was cut down, we would not be about. When fall came, we dreaded that big empty space. But wonder of wonders, we saw her kind face. We stepped back and studied her branches up high. Grandma had a haircut way up in the sky. The kids hugged their teacher, who hugged them right back. And grandmother winked at that whole happy pack. Grandmother still winks at that whole happy pack. True story. Yes, Megan. When I um, was on a different episode, mm -hmm. uh, you did um, a play where different kids did different roles. We acted that out one day. We did. And now... I've learned about some, those were children in Massachusetts who saved the tree. Really? Wait, was the shoots were in elementary school? It was, have you ever heard of Leverett Elementary School? No. Leverett School is near Shootsbury School. You it's used the to next town over. I used to teach there. Yeah. And I was the teacher in oh, that song. Really? We to, yes. 
But it was, I might not have done anything. I might have been sad. But it was because the children spoke up with loud, clear voices and said, we're really sad and we're really mad and can't we do something? And so I said, well, sure, let's write letters to the principal. And it changed. And that tree is still there. It but then I have a friend in California. And she said the children in California saved their favorite tree. So here is a song about that. Let's go. There's a cedar in the park where we go to play. We thought our tree would never go away. Now we dance. Ring around the tree, ring around the tree, all together for the cedar tree. We always ate our lunch in the shade of the tree. Underneath the branches was our place to be. Ring around the tree, ring around the tree, all together for the cedar tree. Our teacher named her dog for a friend in the park. Cedar the dog had a different kind of bark. Ruff! Ring around the tree, ring around the tree, all together for the cedar tree. Parent told the teacher, oh, 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 the city says our cedar has to go. Ring around the tree, ring around the tree, all together for our cedar tree. The parent told the teacher, the teacher told us, we started in to yell and we started in to fuss. Ring around the tree, ring around the tree, all together for the cedar tree. The teacher told us and we asked why, why does our cedar have to die? Ring around the tree, ring around the tree, all together for the cedar tree. The roots break the pavement and people might trip. So we started thinking, zip, 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 ring around the tree, ring around the tree, all together for the cedar tree. We thought and we thought and finally we said, Move the pavement, not the tree. How about that? Move the sidewalk farther from the tree. Ring around the tree, ring around the tree, all together for the cedar tree. Who shall we write to? Who shall we call? Who can say our tree won't have to fall? Ring around the tree, ring around the tree, all together for the cedar tree. Where is the mayor? Here is she. Come to the park and save our tree. Ring around the tree, ring around the tree, all together for the cedar tree. And the last verse, we can open up our circle now, says, so the kids and the moms and dads and the teachers in a ring, we all save the tree and now we sing. Ring around the tree, ring around the tree, all together for the cedar tree. Wow, okay, so let's go back to our seats. Let's go back around. Oh, find your own seat, that's fine. I, I just was so excited to hear about that story. Yes? Um, it's not exactly like the other two, but um, we have these two um, trees near mm -hmm. the fence um, that kids like to like play around in and like sit in the shade. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, yes, so you would want to take care of those trees because you love their shade. Um, the dance we did Yes. With the king around the tree. Ring around the tree. Oh, sorry. Ring yeah. around the yeah. tree. Um, it was kind of like my mom's Irish um, circle dance. Was it? Mm -hmm. I love circle dance. And Irish circle dance is, I've only done a little bit of, but I have learned dances from all over the world. Mm -hmm. My mom does it, and she learned from her grandmother and my grandmother. Are her, is her family from Ireland? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. That's wonderful. And my dad's family is from all sorts of places. I have no idea. Your dad's family is from many other different places? Interesting. Lots to learn about. 
Yes, Megan. I'm a little bit. Irish. A little louder if you want to tell us what. I'm a little bit Irish. And you're a little bit Irish, and your family visited there. That's true. Okay. So I wanted to tell you that, so we talked about the manatees, we talked about the trees. Oh, the bookstore. This was very cool. Um, on the news, they said that a second grade class heard that their only bookstore was going to be closing. And they were very upset. And they said, but we love going in there and looking at books. They have books about so many different things. I, why? Why are they closing that store? We love that store. And so what do you think their teacher said? What could they do? They could write letters. They could write letters. And they thought together about what to say and they learned who to write to. And all the second graders wrote letters. And what do you think happened? The, the bookstore stayed open. They got the store to stay open. And not only that, the owner of the store came to that classroom of second graders and said, thank you. You saved my store. And I am so happy that you did that. Here is a gift certificate for each of you, each of those children got a $25 gift certificate to go shopping at the bookstore as a thank you. Because not only for them did they save the bookstore, but for the whole city. So the kids' voices, enough voices together made a difference. Isn't that exciting? So, and then, this week, I picked up the newspaper, and lo and behold, in our town, in Amherst, it said that the second graders had written letters because they didn't like, there used to be a sign on the Massachusetts Turnpike of a pilgrim hat with Indian arrows through it. And they said, what we have learned is that Native Americans or Indians taught us all about being taking care of each other in interdependence. And that, that picture of arrows doesn't make us feel good. Can we, can we change the sign? And if your family goes driving now on the Massachusetts Turnpike, you will see that they have a different sign. Again, it was the second graders. So those are all courageous children, aren't they? In second grade. Are you in second grade? That is so cool. Megan, you're in first. Do they first grade also? Yeah. And are you third. third grade level? And how about you? First. First. And how about you? Um, second. Second. Oh my <laughs> goodness. So all of you have great voices that if something bothers you, you can write your own letter. But if you get others to write with you, you will be the voices of courage, courageous children who help make the world a better place. Okay. So, this is just a fun song um, that actually Woody Guthrie wrote many, many, many years ago. And then my friend Joni Calum changed the words so that you could sing it for all time. And the chorus goes, and if you'd like to dance, you can stand up and move any way that you want to. You don't have to be in a circle holding hands, but it... Um, whenever we sing, we all work together with a wiggle and a giggle. Okay, go ahead and stand up. We'll start with the chorus. And then when I stop, um, when, when I sing the brown words, I want you to sit down and hear the story part. But when we sing the green, you can be dancing any way you want to. We all work together with a wiggle and a giggle. We all work together with a giggle and a grin. We all work together with a wiggle and a giggle. All work together with a giggle and a grin. Milo, you can clap. You can be the rhythm. Okay. My mama told me and my daddy told me too. There's lots and lots of things for us to do. We can clean up the earth and right a few wrongs. And if we all work together, it won't take long. Ready? You can dance. We all work together with a wiggle and a giggle. We all work together with a giggle and a grin. We all work together with a wiggle and a giggle. We all work together with a giggle and a grin. There you go. He's a 
my grandma told me and my grandpa told me too there's lots and lots of things for us to do we can clean up the rivers clean up the streams and if we all work together it won't be a dream if we all work together with the wiggle and a giggle all work together with the giggle and a grin all work together with the wiggle and a giggle all work together with the giggle and a grin my sister told me and my brother told me too there's lots and lots of things for us to do we can separate our trash we can recycle stuff and if we all work together it might be enough now include everybody in your dance you can make a circle here we go we all work together with the wiggle and the giggle all work together with the giggle and the grin all work together with the wiggle and the giggle all work together with the giggle and the all right, very nice. Stay standing because you it's... You didn't read these ones. Okay. So okay. let's sing to our audience again. Let's stretch across. You've been... Uh, there you go. Okay. Keep, keep singing, keep, keep looking up. up. Keep, keep asking, asking questions and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up.